M0FXB, welcome to the Shack Yesu FTX1. Take a look. Quite busy, 40 meters. Okay, so let's have a listen. Turn it up. So we got the uh, M70 Yesu mic, as you can uh, see. Now we're uh, using a 49 to 1 ballon. Let's turn this down a sec. So it's a 49 to 1 ballon, which you can buy these days for about £20. I got this one the other day. I need to put some wire on it. It's got a SO239. And um, then you just add 66 foot of wire. Now look at my SWR. Watch this. So I'm just going to show you. I do use... You know, I like the icon type display, but look, you can use the 3DS, and if you press and hold, like so, and set tap the D level, and we're on 10 watts there, by the way, then go back, and we've got the external display connected. I haven't got the SPA one or the Optima at the moment, but I will have the Europe model when it's when it gets to us, which is I think is about three weeks. But anyway, back to the 3DS. And the idea of setting the D level here, which is turned by your function knob here, is that you can, you know, you can control the waterfall spectrum a little bit. I have turned on averaging that is available on this model now. Just go function forward, display, and go to scope, and then look, averaging. I've got it on number four. It goes up to eight. Okay, so let's just go back. I mean, it is a pure joy to use this radio. I, you know, it, it is. It's just, even the 710, I love using that now. And so this is like that, but you've got more you can do and it's portable. So anyway, turning it up and just, I'll show you my SWR a minute. So watch. Now I've got not put a tuner in line, although I have got my micro PA50 amp and tuner here. I'll just show you them. This is what I would use if I want a bit more power. And they, I've already tested them, they work great. Okay, but anyway, right now we're doing it proper. No help, 10 watts. And look at my SWR when I go here. Look at the meter, you can tap the meter, choose SWR. And although it's not, it's not perfect, but it's definitely usable. So uh, just take a look here as I call. Just gonna tune in a bit. And yes, it's an eight pin microphone, here goes. M0 FXB, test, test, test. Mic zero, Fox X-ray Bravo, test, test, test. And it's bouncing up to about 1.5. And that's, I haven't even grabbed, normally I'll add a bit of ground as well. Uh, and if I tap here and go to power, like so. M0 FXB, test, test, test. M0 FXB, test, test, test. It's bouncing up and down, as you'd expect with, uh, with sideband. So let's just tune through and see if we can actually talk to someone. Now to set the, the, the uh, mode, just tap on the mode, LSB. And we can even get it to single screen. Watch this. Pressing the DISP button just here. Single screen there. Let's have a little tune. Now I've got the red line there. Now it's that setting it. It's called fix. We've got fix at the moment. Tap here. You've got center, cursor. But I like fix. And the span. 200k the speed is fast we could do multi but i actually prefer this one here so let's just tune we'll try and call into our friend here m0 fxb qrp Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo QRP QRP Mike Zero Fox Trot X Ray Bravo. Hi Mike Seven Hotel Whiskey Zulu five nine Mike Seven Hotel Whiskey Zulu five nine Tom. 
We could turn on the DNR, press and hold. Back, back. Uh, DNR. And it will just set itself. And we've got the different filters. And if you press volume RF gain, Mike Zero Foxtrot X Ray Bravo QRP. We're trying. Now we can, if we tap here, it will faster tune. Well, we've got fine tune, we can actually enter a frequency. And if you want to save a memory, just press and hold. VM, scroll down. Press VM again. We've got a memory channel. Tap name. And we just call it 40. That'll do. And then this is a separate keypad. We've got a clarifier here. Receive, transmit. Quick memory. There you go. A few QRPs. Let's tune forward a bit. Go down That's French, isn't it? Look at this activity down here, what's that? So we go down to the FT8. I don't think we have CW decode on this one. But it's look how active it is. Um, the conditions are good, aren't they? If you go fast, it does speed up. I think we're going to need a bit more power to get through this lot. Do we need the SDX? Not really. Much appreciated, but please do stand by till I finish with one station before calling. It does make it very difficult to slow the QSO rate down. This is Echo Juliet. It was an accident. Papa Delta 1, Delta Radio Echo, 5 by 9, 59 there, uh, 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 Andra, Andra, uh, Roger. 
You can change all these colours. Just hit colour here. Mike Zero, Fox X Ray Bravo, QRP. It's too busy. Contrast, amplifier, mic gain, mic equaliser. Let's turn on the prop. Oh, what number? It goes up high. Oh no. I'm going to try it at 20. I don't really know. There's a whole new mic equaliser thing which I've never used. You never know, it might work. AGC selections there, DNF. Front facing speaker. Now, if you want to, if when you've got an SD card in, you can do a snapshot, a uh, screen capture. Take a little pause. I'll be back in a few minutes. I need to top the set. I need to top the journey up and put the kettle on. Yeah. Uh, now, before this rain comes, I can see it coming up on the horizon. Right, we'll end it there. We'll just go at the band a minute. We'll just go to 20. Sorry about that. Now, I don't feel like we're going to have great tuning on this. When I say, I mean like SWR, I mean. Oh, it's still on mic equaliser there, so we don't really want that. So let's go like so. D-level. Back. Back. Like so. And then, oh look at all the interference, see this is the thing about 20, it just brings in all the LED lights that I've got in this house. So I think that's a bit of a fail there. There's all someone there. Where's my line gone? No, it's not happening, is it? Anyway, let's end it there. But just remember, this is also VHF, UHF. We've got our memory channels just here. And you can simultaneously receive. You also have C4FM, simultaneously receive. You've got your group mode as well for when you're, when you're using uh, wires X. Uh, I've tested C4FM, works fine, works great with my open spark cross mode. And uh, you know, I've been using this set, set a lot, mainly receive, and I there are a few bugs, but they are few, yeah. And I'm sure that the next firmware upgrade is gonna, you know, obliterate all the bugs. And it's, I feel like it is worth what it costs. Yes, it does cost quite a bit, definitely, but it's it's two radios in one, and it's the only radio you can buy that become that can be the field unit, that just the head unit, independent from the back end. And then you buy the Optima, and then it's a hundred watt base station. No other radio has ever done that. So, you know, you pay. You know, you you are buying. I don't know. You're just buying something that is super duper. And what can you do? It's it's in a class of its own, and you and. The price actually one thousand five hundred, six hundred pounds, one thousand five hundred dollars, either one. It's about right. Bye for now. Seven three.